Hello wherever you are and whatever you're up to. I do hope that this finds you well. I'm back to recording my Thursday blether on a Wednesday. But there is a reason for it. The reason is, well, twofold. The first, and I hope this will not happen, is that I'm currently attending the General Assembly of the Church of Scotland. And the General Assembly is a meeting where 700 or so commissioners from all over Scotland and further afield gather to make plans for the church and hear reports about how the church is doing. They usually gather in Edinburgh, but this year it's been gathering online. And so for the last week I've been, or the last five days anyway, I have been looking and following the business of the church online sitting here in my study. It's been a strange experience. It's difficult to participate fully, but then I normally don't. I normally just go and sit and vote at the appropriate time, so I'm doing the same. But it's been running a bit late because I don't think they've scheduled the timetable very well. They allow two hours for debates, which you would think is going to take a lot longer. So much so that the Thursday morning, which was not scheduled for anything, is now deemed as an emergency overflow. So there might be tomorrow morning an extra time to have to meet as General Assembly to try and catch up with the work that's not been done. The second reason is that later on this afternoon I'm going for my second vaccination and I'm a bit of a cowardy when it comes to needles. I had a reaction to the first one and I think it was more to do with my fear than anything to do with the vaccination and so just in case tomorrow I'm feeling rotten uh, I decided to film it today. I don't know how I'm feeling about the vaccination. Of course I'd be pleased to be given this extra security But there's me will have had two vaccinations by this afternoon and my son and many other youngsters have not had one. And I just wonder about that. But I have to go on what the experts say. It's old fat people like me that are likely to get infected and be seriously hurt more than fit young people like my son. And I suspect I just have to go with the flow. Anyway, whatever you're up to, take care of yourself and may God bless you and may his face shine upon you and give you peace. And once again, thanks for watching. And I hope that tomorrow I'll be fighting fit after my injection this afternoon. And I'm grateful to all the medical staff and the scientists and everyone who have put all this together for me to be able to get my vaccination. Bye-bye.